ready to get kicked in the nads. TNT on the show presents Nerdy After Dark. With your hosts, Pablo Gunner and Slay J. It's been a while since we've done one of these Nerdy After Dark, so sorry to our viewers or listeners, I guess. guess yeah, they're, they're not listeners, viewers. Not viewers yet. Yet, because yet, we're going to start doing this thing where we're going to start throwing up our food. No, we're going to start throwing up. No, we're going to start throwing like up. Baby birds. The pod- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to start the chewing up food and then throwing it up for, for our for baby, baby birds. birds yeah. No, uh, we're going to we're going to throw it up on YouTube. Our, but we're not going to do this is not video it's just we're going to throw like an image up of like the topics essentially that we're covering and and then that's going to it's going to be a podcast on because that's where we're podcasters we've noticed that uh that our videos are utter failures we've been doing the same thing for years we think we are funny i guess but it's and not it's we're not, not catching on <laughs> yeah uh so yeah that's that's it we have more success in the podcast realm than we yeah do. yeah we, yeah we do so but and and even i i recently did that myself which is turned a podcast into a video and it instantly got more hits than most of the things than even our matucci's video yeah <laughs> so and they haven't said it to me i just went there and dropped 70 bucks on their restaurant the other night and they said nothing to me you know, like, oh, hey, thanks for the review, or hey, F you for saying our place is too expensive, which it is. Because <laughs> 20 bucks for lasagna, for a square of lasagna is way too much. Okay, it's 18 but still, that's a lot. That's that's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. Mula. so. Mulia. Mulia. <laughs> Coins. Dinero. Uh, anyways, so we're just going to BS, because we actually have not chatted that much in a while. So we're just going to BS. I recently went to Vegas, so I'm going to be talking about Vegas, and in doing so, road trip, right? So music is going to be a part of it, and music being there, and of course, food. And that's what we talk about normally anyways, is food and music and uh, and stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and talk about that stuff, I suppose, which is, like I said, went to Vegas. It was a last-minute thing. My dad actually... He had planned, because my dad has a timeshare, and so he had set up a date for this other guy that, uh, he doesn't work with us, but he works same same place, right? And so, but the guy, uh, he wasn't able to make it for the weekend, so my dad was like, do you want it? And he didn't ask for money or anything like that, but I'm a nice guy, so I was like, I'll pay you, you know, whatever. And so... Uh, so, uh, so, but I asked the wife cause I was like, I don't know if the, well, I mean, my dad asked me and he was, I was like, I don't know if Chelsea's going to want to go with my wife. Uh, because she, I don't know if she, she's not really into that. Right. Both of us, we're not really partiers. We're not, you know, we don't really go out to clubs or anything like that. We do like to go out to eat and stuff. We do, you know, we, mm, I don't know about shows even, you know, we're not even really like, like movies. Sure. But like shows, I don't even know if we're like really show people, you know? We don't do that locally, at least. So I was like, I don't know. We don't even we don't drink that much, you know. But so I was like, I don't know if she's gonna she's gonna want to go. And I was like, I don't know. But I still wanted to go because I haven't been, you know. So I was like, I'd actually thought like, well, if she doesn't, then I'm gonna ask you, you know. <laughs> she probably won't be happy about that. But if she turns me down, then how how else are you gonna feel about it? You know yeah, what I mean? Totally. Like, how are you gonna be upset when you said no? If you turn me down, so. And we just have like a dude's weekend, you know. So, but uh, but she said yes, surprisingly, and stuff. It's been really great because our we've been she's been a lot more open minded. I think we both have been a lot more open minded in, in doing things that the other person wants to do, you know. So we went, and it was a, it was a last minute thing. We only had like a few days to really plan for it, and so we didn't really plan what we were going to do because, like I said, we just decided to go, you know. And, but we, uh, we went and it was, uh, it kind of, I'm going to be honest, it kind of pissed me off because I, it was on a Saturday, right? To go Saturday. I think Friday would have been better, especially because I had like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off for work. And so just, and that I was like, okay, cool. It was weird though. Cause like for once I was actually way ahead of reading my comics this week, but I was like, I don't have time to record. You know, I even asked uh, 
JD, if he would record with me on Friday, but he was like, I got band practice. And I was like, F your band. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I was like, whatever, you know, I'll knock it out if I can. If I can, then I'll bring the equipment over to your place. And so he did not. He did not. Uh, I mean, so he was like, yeah, bring it over in the morning. And I was like, oh, man. So the, here's the other thing is that we made the mistake because we, the, well, the wife and I had done something Friday. We actually went to Tacanos, invited oh, okay. her mom and everything. Uh, and she, we went with her mom and stuff. It was, it was a nice meal. It was a good meal. I liked it. It was, it was enjoyable. It, we were really full. Didn't even finish our dessert, which is a rarity. Uh, but that's how full we were. And so, but we came home and we were both tired. So we're like, oh, let's take a nap. So we took a nap. We woke up at the time we probably should have been going to sleep. Because I told Chelsea the day before, I was like, uh, I was like, hey, we're going to, I was like, we need to go to bed early so we can get up early, you know, because I wanted to get there good time, you know, like, hey, let's get there at like four, you know, so we can utilize our time. So, uh, of course, that's not what happened because we went to bed and then we woke up at eight and I was like, oh, crap, we have all this stuff to do. We're going to be up, up until like two, you know. And that, that's exactly what happened. And so I had all kinds of stuff to take care of because you watched the house for us. So I was like, I don't want to leave it all messed up. You know, I got to take out the trash, recycle, do the dishes so they don't smell bad, you know, vacuum, uh, clean, clean the cat litter, you know, all that, you know, do my laundry so I wouldn't have to do it on the night I came back, you know, all that stuff. So that's what, that's what I did. And like I said, I, so I hit up, I hit up Jonathan again and I was like, hey, well, I texted him before that, I know, yeah, I hit him up that night and I was like, hey, uh, um, do you want me to bring the equipment over tonight or tomorrow? And he was like, oh, bring it in the morning. So this is partially my fault because morning came and we I actually got up an hour later than I wanted to. I wanted to get up at seven, but I ended up getting up at eight instead just because I had gone to bed later. You know, I had gone to bed at two. So... I was like, I'll get up at 8 instead. And so I got ready real quick. I was ready within like 30 minutes, had all my stuff packed. And I was like, all right, I guess I'll go take all the equipment and the comics over to JD's place. I texted him. He didn't answer. I honestly should have not left the house knowing that he didn't answer. Because if someone doesn't answer, yeah, that, especially in the morning, that means they're asleep. That means they're asleep. Yeah. But I took the chance anyways. I went over there, texted him when I got there, didn't answer, ring the doorbell, didn't answer. So, a little annoyed, but like I said, my fault. Get home, he texts me, hey, I'm awake, my bad. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I'm not going to go over there, you know? <laughs> like, we need to be gone now, you know? Or an hour ago, I wanted to. So, but, so I was like, all right, well, the equipment's here, comics are here, you know, this is where the key's at, or hit up AJ, because he's, he's going to be, he's going to be here, you know? And so, uh, he was like, yeah, sure. Never showed up, right? Yeah, I didn't. Didn't hit you up unless I was at work, but he never hit he, me up. He didn't. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't. Uh, unless you had the key. I did have the key with but, you, and he did come by but, and didn't but tell I think, me. But I think he should have texted me because you told him if right? he's coming over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So so I've been like, hey, just so maybe I don't know. I, I honestly haven't talked to him. I honestly haven't talked to him, so I don't know if he did come over and the key wasn't there. You know what I mean? So that could be a possibility. Um, so, but yeah, so anyways, I, um, I, we went on our trip. We always get chimichangas from Allsup's. That's like our tradition. Tradition. Yes. Our tradition for on the road trips, right? For road trips. That's what we always get. And it's funny because people are always like, oh no, that's going to mess up your stomach. You know, you're going to get all chingao, you know, you're going <laughs> to get the shits or whatever, right? And I'm like, okay. never, <laughs> never has happened to me, right? I'm like, don't say that. Why are you, why are you wishing that evil on me, R Ricky Bobby, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, or Ricardo. Um, <laughs> and so, but anyway, so that never has never happened to us. And so, uh, and so it was, I love it. They're delicious, you know, definitely not nutritious. But yeah, so that's what did hit, hit the road. The, recently, the wife and I, we got Japanese snacks. We got... Japanese snacks because we went to Duke City Comic Con together and yay for anime uh, they they had a, which has hooked us up with anime snacks before for our for our food snacks me and uh, Tonebone right 
for the noob and weeb videos that you shouldn't watch. Uh, no, because <laughs> they're awful on YouTube. Um, but no, some of them are some of them are pretty good. But anyways, and so and if you want to get a good idea what those snacks are, you know, so I think they should have a website up and running soon. And so anyways, they uh, so we got to those snacks. So I was like, we hadn't watched any anime, so we weren't eating those snacks, and we hadn't been eating any of those snacks. So I was like, we'll just eat those snacks on the way, you know. And I was like, but we got to play, like, anime music while we're eating them, <laughs> at least. <laughs> so, but uh, we didn't. We didn't listen to anime music while we ate those snacks. And, uh, but yeah, so so that's what I did. And, and so I tried to get away with just eating anime snacks most of the time. And then the wife was like, I want Dairy Queen. But then, like, she didn't give me any directions for Dairy Queen. You know, it's like, hey, get off here. And this is how we get to the closest Dairy Queen. And But she said, like, oh, yeah, it says, like, two miles and then that was the last she said. And I was like, okay, I just kept going because you didn't tell me otherwise, right? Yeah. And it's like, when Chewbacca wants to go somewhere, he's yelling at Han <laughs> to do it, you know? And that, he's like, all right, man, relax. Got it. And they go. But no, that didn't happen. So um, it was just like, the little, it was more like R, driving with R2. You just hear chirps and you don't know what it means. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> or stays quiet most of the time. Uh, just messing around, uh, plugging into the electronics or whatever. So, so yeah. So we finally we get to uh, what's the name of Flagstaff? We get to Flagstaff, and that's where like we're like okay, that's where we usually get gas. So we get gas there, and she was like, oh, I'm hungry now for like real food. Let's go to Cracker Barrel. I was not hungry for for regular food because she barely eats at all, right? And so I she got two chimichangas. She got one for me, one for her, and. Hers, she only ate half. I ate all of mine. So she still had half. And she's like, well, do you want mine? I'm not going to eat it. And I was like, yeah. So I wasn't that hungry because she gave me that maybe half an hour earlier, right? So I was like, I'm not really hungry. I'm good. And she's like, well, I'm hungry. And I'm like, okay, well, we can go eat if you want. I'm, and she's like, we'll just split something. We go to Cracker Barrel. They're like, oh, 15, 20 minute wait. And she had also wanted to go to Dairy Queen, right? So I looked up directions there in town to go to Dairy Queen and my directions essentially were main the main road you know you just go off to the left I was sadly mistaken they had us going all through town those I should have read the directions because it had us go through like we were we ended up in like deep downtown of Flagstaff oh wow uh so it was like it and it said like it was only like eight minutes or something nine minutes and I, it was at least double that you know it was freaking nuts, and we're like, oh my gosh. But then it was like an easy path back, sort of. There was, I don't know, it's weird though, because you know how like roads, they'll have, they'll, it's, it looks like one thing, and then there's a pull off, yeah. you know? And then it, so it's slightly confusing, because you're like, well, do I go straight, do or I do go? I go to the pull off? Like, which <laughs> yeah. one? And she's like, I don't know. I thought you looked, I thought you checked. And I'm like, you know, you're, you're, the, you're supposed to be the co-pilot. You know, that's the whole point of you. You know, why not, come on. So she gets mad at me though, and uh, but so yeah, we made it back on and it was fine. Um, it was weird. It was weird because like I usually like to pick music, especially because I'm driving a go. I'm driving. I pick music, but she was picking music and she was playing. I don't even know what direction. She, we we were like listening to Disney music at first, and I was like, why are we listening to Disney music on the way to like the most un Disney place, like <laughs> the the Sin City, and we're listening to Disney music. You know, I didn't mind, but. It just didn't make sense. I was like, we need to listen to, like, Vegas music to get us, like, in the zone. I was like, I don't even know what that is, though. Like, what does that mean? You know? What is that? What is that? And she was like, well, let me kind of cheat. Ended up, that kind of, like, I think that kind of led her to look up, like, oh, what could we do there? You know? Like, what kind of things? And she found, like, she's like, oh, she likes, she loves Sinatra, right? She loves listening to Sinatra. So, she, I think she put on, she put on some Sinatra. And she's like, oh, Sinatra has a restaurant in the wind. Uh, 50 to like 75 bucks a plate. Wow. And, but there's a dress code. You have to dress nice. Here's the deal. I, when we were right before we left, I bring out all my clothes. You know, I, not all my clothes. I mean, my clothes for the trip, right? I had my two bags. She's like, why do you have so many bags? And I was like, it's just two bags. It's my Ninja Turtle backpack and my Captain America backpack. That's all it is. They're small. They don't carry that much. So I have to have two. Okay, relax. They don't really take up that much space. Okay? And so... And 
And uh, so, and I also had brought out with me a nice outfit. And she was like, why are you bringing out a nice outfit? It's, it's Vegas. And I was like, there's some nice places out there. You don't know, you might go to a nice dinner. You should probably get a nice outfit yourself. Did she? No, she did not. And so when she looked up the dress code, she was like, oh, crap. We, you know, I can't go because I didn't bring any nice clothes. And I'm like, you wanted to go there. Now you can't go because you didn't bring your stuff. You know, you didn't bring a nice outfit. You know? So, anyways, yeah. And uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't even remember, like, that much of what we listened to on the way there, really. Um, so, but we did, um, we did, like, it was more like on the way back we listened to a lot of stuff. But, so, yeah, so we did stop in Kingman because that's where the in and out is. Yeah. So, I always like to get, I like to stop in Kingman whether we're going to, LA or Vegas or whatever. This is our first time in Vegas, like I said. And so, but I knew it was in, I knew it was on the way, right? So I was like, yeah, I was holding out for that, for that uh, in and out. I always like to get the Napole, the, what is it? Um, the Neapolitan. Neapolitan shake, because it has all three flavors, delicious. And I like to get lettuce, the, I like to get a lettuce wrap burger, right? Cheeseburger. That's good. So they call it the protein, apparently. So that's what I get, and it's great because they have like giant things of lettuce. They're huge, yeah. right? And so it's perfect. So that was that was really good. I feel like I don't know. It's weird because like I don't really care for their sauce that much, but like that's their big special thing. Especially because like if you just get their fries without their sauce, they don't have like ketchup. I couldn't find the ketchup or anything else. You know, I'd like to have my fries with ketchup, but really the fries aren't that special on their own. Like they're not. They're just yeah. They're just basic fries. You know. So they taste more real than, of course, like McDonald's or and stuff like that. But, but they still are like I don't I just don't feel like they're that, that great, you know. And the wife she got the animal style burger or whatever, and uh, she like I said she never finished her stuff, so I had to I had to eat it. So, uh, and then so yeah, then and it's not that far away from Vegas. It's like an hour and a half, maybe two hours from from Vegas. Kingman is so we got there and like at first I wasn't that hungry, but we checked in and stuff and. There was this lady, because here's the thing, because it's a timeshare, they, when you get there and they know like you're not the timeshare holder, they try to get you in on these presentations so they can sell you the timeshare, right? And so they always do that, and we all, we sign up for it because they give you free stuff, you know? They give you like a free like gift card or, you know, like a, like for this one it was a hundred dollar like food vouchers and then like a uh, like hundred dollar like Amex card or credit card, whatever thing, right? So we're like, yeah, sure, uh, because we had Chelsea to also look. That was actually the main the main music we did listen to was Michael Jackson on the way there because she's she saw the Cirque du Soleil, Michael Jackson Cirque du Soleil, the one, right? Yeah. You saw the video of it. Yes, looked pretty legit, right? It looks like way to legit. It looks really fun, man. Yeah, it it was freaking it was epic. So so we listened to Michael Jackson on the way to get us like pumped for that that and like Queen. In fact, I had asked, I was like, is there a Queen one? Because that would be great. You know, they had a Beatles one, but the wife doesn't like Beatles for one. And then even then, like, it was very, like, weird and trippy. You know, like, it was more of that stuff than, Yellow like... Yellow Submarine stuff? Yeah, it okay. wasn't, like... I would have liked to see more of, like, a, the, the story of their career or their lives, sort of. You know what I mean? Yeah. But instead of, yeah, it was more of, like, the psychedelic stuff. Uh, so, definitely wasn't going to go to that one. Especially because the tickets are each, like... 155 bucks each and that's just for like the mid-grade seeds seats you know not the top tier i think top tier it's i don't know if it's like double that or they're like 200 i think they're like 200 each so and that's why we're like okay we'll go to this presentation get 100 use that 100 bucks towards that and then we only have to pay like 200 all together you know so it worked out but anyways yeah so we checked in and me i love hard rock hard rock cafe is my favorite restaurant of all time Partially because it has my favorite drink of all time, which is the Purple Haze. And it is amazing. So we walked there. And it was really cool because, um, well, anyways, what happened before I jumped the gun. So we set up, the, they set up, set us up with the presentation, right? And what happened is this lady, she had a thick Hispanic accent. It, she was very hard to understand, even for me, right? And so, but, it, but I still like got, got it enough, you know? And this lady was trying to schedule us like super early for our presentation. She was like, 
oh, I was like seven, you know? And I'm like, no, that's too early. And she's like eight. And I'm like, no, that's still too early. She's like nine. And Chelsea's like, that's fine. That's fine. You know? Because she, Chelsea could not understand her. So she was just going with everything that she said, you know? And was like, I had no idea what that lady said. And I was like, yeah, I know that what that's why I was like, why the heck did you schedule our things so early? We're going to stay out all night. We're, you know, we're in Vegas. You stay out all night and you get up late, you know, because you stay out all night. So why don't we schedule it later? So, um, that was like a thing that we discussed later. But like, so we went to, we went to Hard Rock. We walked there and it's, it's weird though, because I use MapQuest, right? I don't know if there's another app. If there's another app out there. I don't know if you know, but if our listeners know, well, Google Maps. If there's another app that you can use to get somewhere that's better, that's more optimal for like walking versus driving, because I use MapQuest or whatever Maps for for the, the the iPhone, right? Yeah. And it has me going. The, it gives me the directions to drive, even though I'm walking. I hit the walk option, so yeah, it'll tell me like, you know, how long it's gonna take me to get there, but. It has me still walking on the road, you know? So, like, the way there was, like, weird because we were going through all these, like, back alleys. Mind you, they were still back alleys that you could drive through. You know, there was still traffic going through them, but I was like, this is weird, you know? But it was also kind of fun, too, and the whole trip was good like this because it made me feel like almost like I was in a video game where, like, kind of like, you know, remember in, like, Fable where yeah. they have the arrow yeah. on the path of like where you're supposed to go to and that's how it made me feel because i had this in my hand Did it have and the i'm gold like dust? yeah i had the gold dust going there yeah. but that was just like natural gold dust okay. from from vegas from the strippers right? yeah from the strippers yeah and um so and uh and different uh different workers and such things right and so the and so uh, it, it was great like i said i got ribs because i always get ribs I should have gotten like half a rack of ribs because that dude, it was monstrous. It like it was like falling off of the plate. It was like so much ribs. It so was you got ins- a full rack. Yes, I didn't know. I just I got ribs. I just ordered ribs. I should ordered a half, but uh, but it was yeah, it was a minute. And I I, st- I guess I wasn't that hungry, you know, because it only been like a few hours before that we had eaten, you know, maybe in like and out. yeah, in and out. So it was maybe like two or three hours before, right, at the most, three hours at the most. So I wasn't like fully hungry but enough to eat and so i only ate like three four ribs on there and it was a whole rack so i was like uh but uh i got my drink my purple haze and i got the double shot and got it comes with the mason jar if you get the double shot you get the mason jar that it comes in which is great because that's mostly what i drink out of at home so that was perfect for me i was like i'll definitely use this at home so that worked for i got i got so drunk it was great (laughs) Like, I could drink a beer, a regular beer, I will be buzzed off of, like, half of it, and then I drink the whole thing, and I'm drunk, you know? <laughs> so, this was, like, this was liqueur, you know? It, and it was double shot, so I was flying high, man. I was having a good time, I was dancing, you know, getting in the music there, playing everything, you know? it's I love Vegas, too, because it's very, like, it's very... Party-centric? Party said, well, no, just because it, it knows what it is and it's it's open about it. Yeah. You know, like you have the you have the bachelorette party and you know it's a bachelorette party because it's all a bunch of like white girls usually and they're all dressed similarly in a group at like one table, you know. And so, of course, all these girls are checking me out because I'm having a great time, you know. Um, no, they were. like, they, yeah, I don't so know if they dancing. were checking me out, checking me out, yeah. but they were, they were like laughing at me, dancing over there in the booth and stuff, acting like an idiot. So, um, but yeah, it was good. Even I got some fries. They had like Guinness cheese on them. Okay. Uh, it tasted delicious. The wife got chicken with, um, with, uh, what is it? Pulled pork. And that oh, wow. was fantastic. And then it even, like a it, sandwich or like what? No, no, no. It was just mac and cheese and it was just mac and cheese and pulled pork. And chicken. No, no chicken. You said chicken, though. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so, no. Well, it so usually comes with chicken, but you can sub it okay. for pulled pork. Okay. That's that's why I probably got confused. But, yeah, so that's what happened. Uh, that's what she got. It was delicious. She actually had some toast, and it was uh, it was some really good toast. You know? <laughs> it was fantastic. Chelsea, the, the, Chelsea was like, that toast was so good, I would be completely cool with you sliding it under my door. <laughs> 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 so, but uh, 
<laughs> yeah, so we had fun. I had fun. I was like I said, I was drunk. I also, to me, it's fun too. To I love, I, I want to say I love Vegas because of the idea of you're drinking and you're eating. Like you go, you eat places, and yeah. then you walk, right? So you're walking off your drunk, but you're also walking off your food. Yes. You know what I mean? So I love the idea that you have to walk everywhere or that you should walk everywhere, especially because then you see the sights, you know? Mm -hmm. So we took a different path going back to our place because we had all these bags, you know, we had our leftovers. So how far were you guys away from the strip? Um, like two blocks, maybe. Oh, okay. Not bad. So, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad at all. And yeah so so we our place that's the thing is our place it's like a it's like a freaking apartment man uh they have like a pull out couch bed and everything and they have like a kitchen area and they have a fridge like it's huge in there you know so we're like hey our we're like all right we'll go put our stuff up our food and then we'll go back out because they have a shuttle well guess what the shuttle ends at 9 45 right so and it was 10 so we're like we're like who this is Vegas. Like, do, 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 doesn't the shuttle service know that this is Vegas? Do you guys not understand, like, the, the hotel? Like, do you not understand that this is Vegas? You should be out at least until 2, if not 5. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what is this? It's for shame. You know? Que lastima. This is ridiculous. So, I, we were pissed. We complained. We complained. And so, that was, uh, but anyways, we got into it when we went back up. Because what Chels does this every vacation every vacation we go on every vacation we go to every time she does this oh my feet hurt i don't want to walk anymore why the fuck are you wearing these shitty shoes every single fucking time she's wearing some shitty ass footwear every time every time without fail she's to wear flip-flops this time she's wearing ballerina shoes and they're not really ballerina shoes that's just the what they call them or whatever because that's how they look you yeah. know that's like the style and they're super thin. And it's like, of course. We're walking all over the place and you're wearing those fucking things. You know? So, and I was drunk, so I was being a dick. No <laughs> doubt. Like, I'm not even going to lie about it. I was mean. Uh, I was being a jerk off. I feel I felt bad about it. Uh, and so, but yeah. and and But essentially, she just argued with me for like an hour or two about this situation because what happened is she didn't want to go back out because her feet hurt and i was like this is vegas this is what you do you go and you walk around why didn't you wear your normal footwear everywhere we go we, you always have to walk around you know why did you not same way with the i even gave her shit like where the fuck is your nice outfit you didn't get your nice outfit i literally told you right before we left you still didn't now you can't go to your restaurant because you didn't want to get a nice outfit you know so and like I said, it was just, it was a lot of just me being a dick essentially, but she was giving me sh the shit the whole time too. And I, once again, like I said, that's when I brought up the whole thing too about scheduling the thing so early. I was like, we're supposed to stay out all night, you know, go early. She was, she was like, fine, we'll go change the time. And I'm like, there's no point in changing the time if we're not going to go back out. Right. So, cause it was, it, like I said, it was only 10. So, but we argued for probably like an hour and then we went, we would go downstairs to change the time. They let us change the time to 1145. This lady even gives us a card to take the Uber. Like it's a credit, you know, like it's for a certain amount of credit for the Uber, right? And she still, she doesn't want to use it. She didn't want to use it. She was like, you know, oh, I never used it before. I don't know how it's confusing. And I'm like, well, yeah, because you never used it before. You have to do it till we find out. So we just argued, and I was like, I was like I said, I was drunk, so I was like, I was tired. We like we literally like just argued for pretty much like two hours. So I was like, all right. Well, was it hot too? It wasn't that. Well, that's the thing is, it was getting dark right when we got there, so it wasn't that hot then. You know, it was the that's what that's what also pissed me off. Oh, let's go at night while it's nice and cool. You know, even if you have to walk through buildings or whatever. Or from from casino to casino, it won't be it's, it's it's dark out, so it won't be that bad. But if we do it tomorrow when it's light, it's gonna be freaking hot. Everyone was like, it's gonna be 105 tomorrow. Yeah, let's go walk out when it's 105 instead of now when it's nice and cool, right? Stupid. So, like I said, that's essentially what we argued about uh, for like two hours. You know those things. So we uh, so I like I said I just went to bed because I was tired. I was like, screw this, I'm going to sleep. You know, I'm tired. So. Uh, I just, you know, we 
I was like, there's this this is this, this is a waste. This is a waste of time. Did you get a chance to go check out Avenger Station? No, no. no. And well, I saw it, but I didn't like. I like I was in the building and saw the, all the stuff, but I didn't like go and do the actual thing because like you can buy tickets for it and it's like yeah. a thing you can do like shooting or whatever. Like yeah. it's kind of like an arcade type deal or whatever. And I was like, oh, that's legit. It looked really cool. So we did go through, and that's yeah. The next morning, so we actually slept all the way until eleven. Which was really nice, you know, to actually sleep in. It, it was really nice. So, even though at like nine, I was like, we should be getting up right now and going to that stupid thing, you know, so we could start the day. Because now we have to go, you know, we got to make up for it somehow. In my mind, that's how I work, you know. I'm very like, kind of like, I. I live my life kind of like an RPG, you know, where I go like, I'm in this area and there's all these things on my map and I need to go do all these things <laughs> and knock them all out because I don't know when I'm going to be in this area again, yeah. you know? it's I can't do fast travel like I do in video games. So I'm, I'm in this area, I want to do everything in this area, you know, and knock it all out. Um, which is hard to do, especially when you really only have one main day, you know, because we got there, like I said, seven at night. And then we had to leave Monday morning, so it was really just Sunday was the main day, you know. So, but yeah, we so we got up, we went to uh, we went to that presentation. That presentation was it was it was pretty, it was a good presentation, and uh, but we had already had this thing planned because my dad actually he's been wanting to get rid of his timeshare. So I've been talking to because I drive with him every day. I've been talking to him and been like, we'll just take over it, you know, or like. I told him, well, let's split it because he still, he uses it a lot. You know, like this year he's used it a lot. You know, mind you, it's partially because he's used it for friends, you know, or, or, or family members or whatever, like setting it up for them, you know? So he's been doing that. And so he makes money. I mean, they pay him, you know, so he makes money off of it. Uh, so, but he's, he's getting tired of it. And so I, I told him, I was like, well, we can go halfers on it, you know, until you completely want to get rid of it you know especially because that's the thing is like right now my wife and i we can't go on vacations every month or go it's good i'm not vacations but necessarily just a quick getaway like pagosa is four hours away from here you know that's an easy once a month you know one two day getaway you know what i mean yeah to just go relax for like two days and stuff we should just have you move in uh <laughs> i've been saying this for years but uh <laughs> so anyways but uh, maybe we will once we figure that out, but uh, or once she figures that out. But um, but that's my thought process is like if we could use it every month, it would be totally worth just owning, right? And paying for the full amount. Uh, and I wouldn't mind like anytime they wanted to use it, you know, let because they have to let them set up their own things or whatever. Uh, they're the one they paid it off, you know. So, but yeah, so we talked about that, and that's essentially what I told the guy. I was like. My dad's gonna give it to me, you know. So we're we don't we're not gonna buy one because of this. So he's like, oh, oh, okay. Well, that really just shuts me down. We're like, yeah, that was that was the point. We're just here for the free shit, you know. <laughs> like that's it. And he's like, all right. Well, I still have to go through the steps and have to show you the deluxe rooms and you know take you to this place where they talk about the financials of giving you your own thing. And you know, I mean, you could say no to all of it. You know, you can go through it as quick as possible. But we still have to go to a certain point. It. They tell you it's an hour, and it's it, and then when you show up, they're like, oh, it's two hours. And then it ended up being more like two and a half, three hours. So it was crazy. So, yeah, and uh, and stuff. So, um, But anyways, after that was over, the wife wanted to go to this place called Sugar Factory, right? And that was actually pretty far down the strip. And But like I said, they had the shuttle, and it goes to the... Uh, Hannah's Harris it goes to Harris and so that it's not that far away from it right so I was like yeah we'll just go to Harris and then we'll just walk the rest of the way and so that's what we did and like I said that's on the way there was that Avengers HQ and I was like oh this is legit you know it was on the way to because the the sugar factories in this place I think it's called fashion mall or fashion outlet or something like that so that's where we went, and the wife had a group on for 60 bucks, and it's essentially like $100 worth of food, which, yes, sounds like a lot of money, but in Vegas, that is the norm. Like, that's a, that's that's going to Matucci's. Unless you're going, you know? unless you're going to fast food. Then it's unless the, you're going to fast food, Then it's yeah. the opposite, where it's like everything's cheaper there, I've noticed. I, I would know. So, <laughs> um, 
I'm but, just talking from my experience. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, you could get the two for two Big Macs there, like $2. So that's why you were yeah. so obsessed with the White Castle. White Castle, yeah. Because you're like, dude, White I was Castle. Not, I was just, this I was guy excited. would not shut up about the White Castle. He's, <laughs> I he ever mentioned since, it like twice. You dude. mentioned it before, <laughs> even. Like, we were like, because we were, because we had mentioned <laughs> that we should do a talk nerdy to me trip to Vegas. Me, yeah. Tone Bone, and you, right? Yeah, yeah. And even JD, if he wants to join in. And, uh,. <laughs> I did say but, yes. And he's like, yeah, we should do that, and we got to get White Castle. Like, ever since, this is like months ago. So, and then he brings it up and again, and I'm like, this guy with the White Castle, he's so jacked Twice. off about it. Twice. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot, right? No. <laughs> so, no, so, we actually took a picture. I took a picture of it where I was like, you know, I really like presenting, you know, I, I thought Chell sent it to you, you that would know, be funny if she did, so, yeah. I but I'll laugh. have to send it to you. I would laugh, we'll probably man. post it on this <laughs> as one of the pictures for sure. I'll post this on the website, that picture and probably even some of the pictures for, for, for the, for the trip, you know? Um, but yeah, so we, we went to this place, a uh, sugar factory and like I said, Groupon, 60 bucks for it. And like I said, that's the norm for like the expensive places or, or you know, nice nice places. This restaurant's Kylie Jenner restaurant. That's why she wanted to go, is because Kylie Jenner restaurant. And so with her big lips. Uh yeah. That's probably why I had those giant um glasses. Titty goblets, you know, to fill the <laughs> giant ass lips over it. He had um, he drank out of this big old goblet, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. huge, man. <laughs> I'll I'll, show, I'll post I'll post that picture. Yeah. Um I might do a talk booty to me review of the place. Um, but I, but I have to find a, a Kylie Jenner wig and like <laughs> make the lips and stuff and do it all up. Maybe have my wife do my makeup. I don't know. Um, <laughs> do <your> so <laughs> like you got to do it up, man. You can't just be basic. Yeah, no. You know, not like so, the, the Mario masks that we yeah. have. <laughs> I guess we should have went legit. We huh? should have bought actual outfits. Yeah. <laughs> we um, thought it was going to be okay. Yeah. yeah but no, <laughs> uh, but anyways, so we went, and so like I said, $60 Groupon, I was starving because it took us like a while to actually get there and stuff, and it was funny, you know, people were always trying to give you on the street, and I was going nuts, I was like, I just want to go eat, leave me alone, you know, <laughs> I didn't actually say that, but I was feeling it inside, yeah. you know, because um, I'm too nice, uh, but anyways, so we got there, and we had this, we, we had this waiter who looked like an out of shape Vin Diesel, um, and it was funny cause like it was the, the Groupon was for unlimited mimosas and then like whatever, and then your food, you know, up to like a hundred bucks. Right. And so, uh, like I said, everything is expensive there. It was probably about, I don't know. I want to say like each thing was probably about, um, I don't know. I didn't even think it was that expensive, but like the mimosas cover like most of it. Right. Probably like half of it or whatever, half of, half of the hundred bucks. Or whatever. So, but she got Nutella waffles or Nutella crepe, and then I got like berry, a berry waffle, right? And it was a giant waffle, just covered with berries and cream and stuff. Oh, it was heavenly. It was delicious. And then, oh, the wife. So she saw the the t giant titty goblet, and she's like, "I want those." And the guy's like, "Well, we don't sell them, and we don't usually give them away, but." If you give us a, but my manager said that if you do a Yelp review, we'll give them to you for free. And I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, where you could just like, is this Vegas? You could just like show up and like name your price or like, I want this. How much is it? What do I have to do for it? You know what I mean? And um, it wasn't inappropriate, surprisingly. Yeah. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but so yeah, and uh, so 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 the so that's what she did. She typed up a Yelp review real quick, you know, and she did it. And she's like, here, here's my Yelp review post. And he's like, all right, cool. I'll go get the mimosas and stuff. And then like, he brings them up, he brings them out and he's like, get out your camera, film this. And she's like, what? He's like, just, just film it, just film it. And so when they pour it in, like the, the smoke comes out and stuff. And it's just like pouring over like some sort of, uh, you know, ice. 
Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. But it got like a cauldron, right? Like a like a oh, witch yeah. cauldron. Yeah. You know, it was, it was cool. And I was like, I was like all amazed by it and shit. I was like, oh shit, it's magic. You know, like this is crazy. You know. And I was like mimosas. I was I didn't even realize there were they were alcoholic beverages. You know. And I was like, well, I was like, what is it on the mimosa? Oh, it's champagne, champagne and, and orange juice. juice. Yeah. And I was like. It's only like three, but I was like, whatever, I guess this is Vegas, so <laughs> let's do it, you know? So I was like, I don't think I can drink all this. And I did, and then I had another one. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I mean, they're mostly filled with that ice. ice yeah. So so it ends up not being as much as you think it is, you yeah. know what I mean? So that's why I was able to knock one out and then have another one. So, but like I, like I said, I'm an easy drunk, so I had one, and I had a good buzz, and then when I had the second one, I was just like... Getting but and so that was too like they had like kind of like club music, clubbing music in the background. So I'm once again I'm over there dancing, having a good time, you know, acting <laughs> acting crazy. But it was legit because like I felt like I fit in because I wasn't the only one dancing around because there was a lot of black people in there. So I felt like I you know it worked. You know we were all having a good time. Vegas that's, has a lot of black. That's people. why I love black people because they mm. know to have fun even without alcohol. Yeah. Like they don't need alcohol to dance and have fun and just be in the mood to have fun. You know what I mean? Like where it's like the, everybody else that's white they need alcohol. I feel like it's true. Yeah. You know to to let loose and to to have fun and enjoy themselves. You know, um, so. But yeah, it was it was a blast, and the food was really good. We still had like twenty bucks left over or something like that for for food. So we're like, well, what else should we get? You know, we wanted to get some regular food, not just breakfast food. You know, uh, like some 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 with actual some meat on it. You know, and uh, some so this one family, uh, I think they could only it was like Hispanic family. I think they could only afford like a thing of uh, of barbecue, uh, not barbecue wings, but but of wings. So the whole family. Of like the whole 12 of them or something whatever it was no it wasn't that many but uh <laughs> there was like four or five of them and um no i don't know but anyways uh so you bought them wings or what? no so we got us wings oh, they okay. got their own wings but they smelled so good that we're yeah. like oh let's get some wings so we got some wings but i'm a little wuss when it comes to spicy so i could only eat two and like i said the wife she barely eats so she only ate two and then we were done so but uh, we got we got the big titty goblets, giant titty goblets, and uh, we took <laughs> off back on the road and stuff. The wife had to get some. We had to get some sunscreen for the wife on the way back. CBS under the uh, that's next summer. under the H under the uh, Avengers, Avengers HQ. HQ. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was under it. So uh, you know those those Avengers. They don't want to. They don't want to. They would have all that stuff so that's close <laughs> to them. They're always prepared because CBS has so much stuff sunscreen, so you don't get sunburnt. You know. Did you guys so, watch the waterfall thing that they do? At outside the wind no no we no. didn't no uh we didn't go that far down oh, no. we didn't go that okay. far down no um like i said because we didn't because uh, somebody didn't pack their nice outfit so we didn't end up going to the wind because okay. uh, that's where the the sinatra yeah restaurant is so i wanted to go i wanted to go to the trump motel and just uh flip it off or what? do a double decker you know <laughs> no but uh <laughs> No, um, I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, I don't care that much. But anyways, uh, so yeah, we, we were walking back and we, we went to the Mirage. I think it's the Mirage because that's where they have the lions and the tigers. And they also have dolphins. And so the wife loves animals. So I was like, I got to take her to all the animal places, you know. And then we she had watched a thing on, on YouTube that the best buffet is Bacchanal, which is in Little Caesar. So I was like, all right, let's go to Little Caesar's. But we're gonna go through the Venetian to get to Little Caesars, well, which not, is across it's not, the street. It's not Little Caesars, it's Caesars. What? Little Caesars is the pizza company, man. What? What are you talking about? That's I said Caesars Palace. <laughs> no, you said Little Caesars. Why would I say that? That's not even the name of it. You're trying to. You're, you're trying to mess me up here, no, and make you, me look like a fool. No, you're trying to get. No. Some, <laughs> trying to get some free pizza. Honey. No, no, I hate that pizza. It's really cheap and awful. It is. I wouldn't yeah. dare. Now, if the ambassador was here, he would definitely be trying to get that pizza. Um, but anyways... I had free pizzas for him. <laughs> uh, anyways, so... Uh, unless he stepped it up, I don't know. But, um... So, here... So, yeah, we... Well, she was like, yeah, let's go to... Uh, let's go to Caesar's Palace, because that's where that is, the Bacchanal, right? Buffet. It's supposed to be the best. I was like, all right, well, let's go to the through the Venetian to get there. But that's across the street, so it's kind of like going around... Well, and this is how a lot of those those places are. Is they're like mazes, man. 
Yeah. They're like mazes. So we, I go into the Venetian and we got turned around and ended up going backwards and went like to <laughs> this, went like way back, you know? Yeah. And so it was cool to see it and to be able to show it to the, my to my wife. Now I'd gone with my parents back when I was like I think I had just turned eighteen or something like that. I went with them to Vegas. They took all of us and just to like see Vegas and see what it's like, you know. Um, and and going to Vegas, I was like, why the fuck would you take kids here? This is the <laughs> literal worst place. You sh you should not bring kids here, you know, unless you're gonna dump them off at the resort. And leave them here all day, which in in which that case, why the fuck are you even taking your kids with you if you're just gonna dump them off somewhere? Leave them with the grandparents, or uh, maybe they don't. Have, you maybe you don't want to leave. They don't want to be left. With, I don't know. Uh, maybe the grandparents are with you, but you you want to dump them off. But I wouldn't. You know, I mean, I would just I would dump my kids off with with my parents is what I would do. Um, but, but no, but but my other thing is like, if you're gonna go on on vacation and take your kids. Take them somewhere that they would actually enjoy and remember. You know what I mean? Like, if they're just going to be, like, doing activities all day that they would do, you know, like, are they going to remember that? Is gonna is that going to be memorable to them? Yeah. You know? I mean, okay, maybe if you actually take them on the strip, they'll they'll remember that. You know? Uh, they'll see all the nudes, um, you know, billboards <laughs> uh, or whatever and, and all that business going on. Little and cards that you'll see, out to you. You'll, yeah, the, you'll see guys puking on the side of the street, you know? even though it's only like five o'clock or whatever. Or uh, my wife saw a guy beaten off. I didn't see the guy beaten off. I'm kind of disappointed. Um, <laughs> but I didn't, well, I just feel like that's that's part of the experience of, of Vegas. Of yeah. Vegas, yeah, and I missed it. Uh, but I did not miss all those ass cheeks that were hanging out. Dear God. So you have the showgirls and stuff like that. Like they have, there's like a Playboy suite in the Venetian at like the club. I think it's like Tau or something like that. And uh, so they had, like, the Playboy girls promoting that. Like I said, and, like, fishnets are just, like, with their ass cheeks hanging out and stuff. And you'd be like, okay. But then there's just chicks that walk around in, like, see-through clothes. You know, like, they'll just, like, that's what they're... In fact, at the Sugar Factory... Vegas, right? Yeah, because it's <laughs> Vegas. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all for it. I'm not... I'm not... Hey, props for you. You're, you're doing it in the right place. Like I said, Vegas, they know what it is. And people know what it is, you know, that have been there. So they go dressed for that, right? This one lady, I was surprised that it was a white lady actually that did this, and she had like she kind of had like those sailor shorts, you know, whatever. They're, they're like they're short, but they're like long on the waist, you know. They're kind of like high waisted, but then her top, she was I don't know if it was just a bra or like a bikini top, but then like on top of that, it was like a it was like a gold net she was wearing, not like not like not even not like net so much as like a rope net, you know what I mean? Not like the the little holes, but like big, you know, like big squares where it was like. All right, that's you know, I'm hey, I'm all for it, you know. But like I said, there's chicks, and then just as their outfit, it's like see through mesh, whatever. Then they're walking around like that. They're going out in the clubs, and that's that's what they're rocking. And I'm like, okay. In fact, I probably saw more more of that than I did like showgirls or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, so I was like, I was like, yeah, I was like, I definitely know. Did you get anybody like I definitely know a couple ladies that would fit in to here. dance or like anything no weird. no so when I was there when we were walking um I I had got separated because I went with my ex-girlfriend I got separated separated from her and these chicks like came up and danced on me <laughs> so I was like cool I'm just dancing <laughs> <laughs> My ex didn't like that too much, but... <laughs> when in Rome, I mean, yeah, come on. You're you in have Vegas, to, right? Yeah, you're in Vegas. That's part of the experience. Yeah. So, yeah, but we got turned around, and, and we took so long getting turned around in the Venetian. We're like, oh, crap, we need to get to the buffet because we only have so much time before our show because our show was at 9.30, and we're like, we don't know how long it's going to take, right? It was like maybe... I think it was somewhere around like seven thirty ish, right? Yeah. Uh, and so we, so it took us like about half an hour or whatever to get to uh, Little Caesar's Palace, and so <laughs> <laughs> that one was on purpose. Uh, anyways, so and like once again, dude, it's like a maze in there. We're trying to ask people for directions, and they're like, "Oh uh, yeah, just do you take a right and then a left, and then it's on the right." And you're like, "Was this the right or was?" You know, and so you're like, we I got all turned around. We finally found found uh, Bacchanal, and they're like, 
Well, that was confusing too because they had one line and it said VIP and platinum, right? Was yeah. the line. But then like the regular line was closed off with rope and there was a lady there standing there. Well, I mean, she wasn't there at first. But so we just got into that line that said VIP because that's where everybody else was in, right? And we asked the lady, hey, are we in the right line? Because it says VIP. And she's like, oh, yeah, 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 that's the right one. And they're using the regular entrance access or whatever for VIPs instead and stuff. And and the wife was like, how long is the wait? And she was like, oh, like an hour and a half to two hours. Well, hour and a half, that's when our show starts, you know? So because it was already eight. So we're like, ah, oh, shit, what are we going to do? So we're like, all right, we'll just pick somewhere in Caesar's Palace, somewhere else to go. So we went to the Gordon Ramsay's Pub and Grill and uh, – or grilling pub, I don't know, whatever it was. And so we're like, okay, so she got the prime rib. I got the short rib. It looked good, sounded good. That's what we got. We had $100 vouchers, right, for the place and uh, for, for, for a restaurant and stuff. So that's what we used for that. Now, it's very easy for me to know whether or not you are a shitty waitress or, or waiter or whatever, right? Uh, because my wife, she drinks a lot. Uh, as far as like soda goes, she always gets a Coke. And even if she gets another drink, she gets a Coke, right? And so she got a Coke and we saw her once and that was it. Like she didn't even fill it. Like she, she got it once and then she drank and that was it. So like this lady was shit. So, but we got like, after we got our food, that was it. We didn't see her anymore. And we wanted to get out of there. We're like, we want to get out of here within 40 minutes. Well, we, we, you know, we got our food pretty uh, in, within a decent amount of time. But this lady, we could not see her, so we couldn't check out. We're, like, waiting for this lady for at least 20 minutes to check us out. And we, like, eventually we just got up because we're, like, all right, we're going to get up because we need to get out of here. So this lady gets a fucking clue. We don't need to get the fuck out of here, you know? Finally, she's, like, she comes to us, and I'm just, like, we give her the vouchers, give her the 20 bucks there. I didn't even want to give her 20 bucks, honestly. Well, because, well, actually, we still had 7 bucks that we owed, so we gave her a $13 tip. I didn't want to give her the $13, because she was a shit waitress. Um, even considering that the meal was $107. You know, which I would have never... I would have been outraged if I paid that much. Considering the quality of the food. I didn't think it was that good. It was really greasy. And it was very fatty. You know, both of them were. So, I, I, I was... Come on, Gordon Ramsay. This is your restaurant. What the fuck? You know? Um, but I don't think he was in the back that day. Cussing him out. Um giving an you know idiot sandwich to whoever the fuck made that food but anyways uh but yeah so then we that then finally the wife's like we're doing uber we're doing lyft to get over there because we only had we only had like it was already like 9 10 by that time so we hauled ass and it was like it was like a 10 minute it was like an eight minute trip driving right but walking it was like 40 it was like uh it was it was like over two miles so uh, the wife was like, fuck, no, I'm not doing that. You know, <laughs> I wouldn't have minded it. I would have walked it if we would have done it before we ate. You know, I was like, we could have, but she didn't want to. So we made it. We had a nice, we had this, uh, we had this lady, uh, you know, pick us up. She was actually from New York and stuff. She was really nice. Uh, she was cute and stuff. She was, and, and uh, but yeah, she dropped us off. We got there like right on time, dude. They were just starting the show as we went, went in and we're like getting our seats and stuff. It was crazy. And the show, like I said, it's the show Michael Jackson, Cirque du Soleil, the one mind-blowing show. It was awesome. They had, like, those awesome, like, lighting effects. Like, you know, they, they had, like, everything in it, dude. It was so freaking cool. Interesting, awesome story. Like, I, I'll be honest, I almost cried, like, multiple times throughout that thing. Like, it was so intense nice. and so, like, emotional. It was more, like, the beginning was the better, the, it was be the beginning was better than, than, like, towards the end. But it was still really good, like, overall, though. It was really awesome. It was really impressive. So, and then that, the wife wanted to get. So once we were done there, the wife was like, "We're gonna get a lift back to the house, back to the, back to the place." But she was like, "Oh wait, I have to get a, I have to get a, I have to get my mom a hoodie from the Hard Rock, which the wife had gotten the hoodie from Hard Rock, and she had told her like, "Hey, you know, is there anything you want like from Hard Rock or anything?" She's like, "Yeah, get me a hoodie. They're expensive." Uh, anyways, so Chels. Because this is how she is with everything. She doesn't read everything. She skims everything. And that's like, even like when she's when you're talking, she only takes what she wants from it, right? What she finds important, you know? And uh, she does that like with school. She does that with everything. She just skims it and just, you know, and that's it. So that's exactly what she did with these with these directions. 
Because guess what? There's a Hard Rock Hotel and there's a Hard Rock Co- Cafe. And which one did she pick? She picked the Hard Rock Hotel because it was the first option that came up and she just hit it. She didn't even read it. She just hit it. So they took us to the Hard Rock Hotel, which was like almost right across the street from our hotel, you know? Okay. And I'm like, we could have walked here. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to see the place, but then she was like, that's fine. We'll just have them pick us up and take us take us to back to the Hard Rock. But you have to, but you have, they pick you, they, they, they can't pick you up where they drop you off. So we had to go through the whole hotel, which was cool, but, and it's, but it's a pain in the ass to get to them. So by the time we got there, Hard Rock Cafe is already closed. <laughs> so I was like, yes, now we don't have to go get our mom a hoodie. And she was like, well, we'll just go in the morning. And I'm like, fuck. And, and of course I have to drive there. Right. Of course I have to drive there. And I was like, I don't want to drive there. You should drive there because you're, you, she, she can adapt to driving with assholes. You know, she, for her, she can morph into that person. I can't, I can't, I suck at driving like an asshole. Right. I'm just too nice because people will just be crossing the street when it's not time for them to cross the street. There'll be people like you have to jump out and, you know, in traffic or whatever, like to get around. Like, that's just how it is. Um, it's not as bad as LA, but it, it's not too far from it, you know? And so it's, uh, so the wife, so the wife, and the wife didn't like, she gives horrible directions. Cause she's like, I'll be like on inner left lane or outer, the, the right lane. Like, where should I be? I don't know. And I'm like, what the fuck wife? You're the fucking directions person. Like I said, I told her, I was like, it's like driving with fucking R2D2. I don't know what the fuck, you know, you're saying, I don't know what's going on. I don't understand the whatever noises you make so but it's just because she gives shit directions and so uh yeah and then parking the parking garage was like 10 bucks which is still less than a round trip of of the lift because that would have been been like 10 bucks to get there and then 10 bucks back you know or whatever so yeah so that's uh so that's what we did um and she wanted to get breakfast in town i didn't want to get breakfast in town i wanted to get breakfast at in and out because i was like oh it's only a couple hours away or whatever hour and a half We'll just get in and out for breakfast. No, no, she did not want to do that. I was like, I'm tired of spending so much money. This place is so fucking expensive. <laughs> so, uh, but we ended up getting breakfast at Hard Rock, and it was amazing. And that was actually probably, it was the cheapest meal that we had there. It was 50 bucks, and it was delicious. I got like this, it was like fried French toast or something. It was like crunchy on the outside. And it was like, it had berries on it because I'm a fruity guy and I love fruity stuff. And it was delicious. I wanted to get another Purple Haze. I did not because <laughs> I was like, I am I have to drive, you know? Yeah. Um, so I should have been like, hey, you want to still eat here in Vegas instead of eating on the road? Guess what? We're still in Vegas. I'm going to get a double shot, <laughs> you know? I'm going to be wasted the whole way home so you have to drive. <laughs> but uh, no, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be a dick so you know so we ate there it was delicious um even hers too like she got like just a regular breakfast with eggs and stuff like that and and it was it was really good so yeah and uh and yeah we got that stuff to go to and um i did and that's the thing is i didn't eat my ribs the whole weekend but it was in the fridge so it was all good so i ate it when i got home and they were fantastic so i'm glad that i'm actually glad that i got the full rack you know so anyways so yeah we uh we went home it was it was not too crazy it wasn't too bad um and so we shazammed all that music because we like the music that they played in sugar factory so that's most of what we listened to on the way home you know so and that was like like i said that's a lot of it was like a lot of club hits um so it was you know, like I know there was a uh, Nelly was on them. Oh, Fifty Cent, Disco Inferno, uh, Waka Waka. This is time for Africa, uh, which is Shakira, uh, Black Eyed Peas, Boom Boom Pow, Hollaback Girl. That's always a classic by Gwen Stefani. Hot in Here by Nelly. Oh, and there's also music from that I downloaded from uh, Hard Rock as well. Uh, House of Gold, Twenty One, uh, Twenty One Pilots, and then. Um, Planetary Go by uh, MCR, My Chemical Romance. And then uh, Jump Around by House of Pain. That was one that I was dancing to. Um, and then the wipe down, like, uh, Perfect Circle used and, um, and stuff. So, so yeah. So that's a lot of what we uh, listened to going home. It was, it was nice. good stuff. It was good stuff. 
few weeks ago, I got to go see John Mayer play with the Grateful Dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to talk to you about uh, that. Yeah, so I got hooked up with a ticket. You know, I was uh, was actually asking on Facebook if anybody was selling one. Yeah. And, like, one of my friends had an extra one. Nice. So I was like, oh, cool. So I got to go see him. You know, I'm not really a Grateful Dead fan, but, like, it was cool seeing John Mayer just shred on the guitar. Nice. They were just jamming the whole time. Right. So that, that was really cool. So... It, it was funny because you had a lot of the the hippies there because uh-huh. you, know, you, know, you know Grateful Dead so like everyone's right. like doing like this weird swing in like <laughs> you could just tell they're like peace love they've been you know, blazing like, it up with Johnny Hopkins yeah. and Sloan Kettering every day they were blazing it up there <laughs> <the show>, so. <laughs> they were just you know it was, it was really cool it was a cool experience um, yeah we actually kind of left early because we wanted to beat all the traffic you know? yeah <laughs> so. Um, because John Mayer wasn't really playing any of, the, any of his hits. Oh, so okay. He was just playing their songs. So oh. I, I thought it was I thought it was just cool, anyways, because I I've never seen John Mayer live. So yeah, it was a good experience. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, that's interesting. I was I was hoping that he'd play some of his songs. Right. But but he didn't. Yeah, that's kind of disappointing. So. But he makes a lot of money touring with them, so I don't blame yeah. him. <laughs> and he just jams for hours. So. Right. And then they took like this weird break in the middle of the show, so I was like, "You must be go dropping acid or something <laughs> like that." You know? <laughs> well, they're probably old. They're old guys, right? Yeah. So you probably gotta go take a break, anyways. Yeah. Just go take a take a piss, colostomy bag, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh... <laughs> and then what else? I've been, I've been listening to some, you know Blink One Eighty Two just randomly, you know the. One of our favorite albums, the self titled. Yeah, the self titled yeah. is great. Yeah. It's the best one. And then some of the Cure. I've been listening to some Cure. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah I love the Cure. They're great. I got to play a gig with a couple friends at a pool party a couple days ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. Uh, so we did a lot of covers. So we did Cure, John Mayer. Nice. Um, uh, Stand by Me. You know, that do do do. Yeah. 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 So it was really cool. You had like all these hot chicks getting drunk in the pool <laughs> while I'm playing music for them, you know? So yeah. <laughs> it was cool. It was a fun experience. But... Awesome. That's cool, man. Yeah. That's freaking sweet. Yeah, other than that, like, I started my new job today, so that's pretty cool. Right on. Righteous. HP. So I'm excited about that. I got a personal laptop to take home, so I kind of feel important. <laughs> La- it's a lab- it's laptop. Laptop. Yeah. It's where... like you're taking a lab home. Yes. You know? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that's me, man. It's oh, and girlfriend. I got a new girlfriend. Nice. Which we've already talked about, but yeah. Shout out to you, Aaron, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt she is. <laughs> Who wants to listen to this dribble? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just me complain about my wife for an hour or whatever. No, I like the trip. <laughs> man. You went, you went, to, you went to the super details, so it felt like I was there. Yeah. Know? It was really fun. It was. It. I mean, just despite all my complaints, it was a blast. It just reminds me of my trip that when I took there. So yeah. It's like you know I did have some complaints, but at the same time I was like. Yeah, and in fact, for, I've been talking to guys, and they're like, "Yeah, it's not. It's not a spouse thing. It's more of like a a dude Single, bro thing. Yeah, like go yeah. with. Well, unless you know some chicks that that are down to party, you yeah. know. Like in that case, yeah. So I was like. Yeah, I was like, I would love to come here with my brother, you know, that would be cool. Even though he doesn't really drink, like, it'd just be fun, just us going out and we should dancing the, the night we away, should do the you know. PNTN thing, though. Yeah. Be pretty fun. <laughs> we Plus should legitimately brother. stay at the Hooters yeah. Hotel if I want to. No, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we wouldn't have to because of the, because of the, uh, what time do share. Call it? The timeshare. And then you guys could go to the presentation and, uh. And get the free stuff. Yeah, and then when they check your guys' credit. They'll just be like, we they can't afford anything, <laughs> so uh, or or they're like, oh, what's what's your income? They'll be like, oh, never never mind. Um, my income now is better. <laughs> it's not that long. But my brother, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. Then you guys could both get get the uh, the rewards or whatever, and we could share them. Yes. You know, when we go to eat. If out. it's like that hundred dollar food credit, huh? Yeah, hundred dollar yeah. food credit and the hundred dollar uh, American Express credit card. card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mm-hmm. it's legit. It's legit. Then we would not have to pay that much combined going out, you know. Yeah, that'd be legit. It'd be yeah. sweet. So. And then if you get unlimited drinks at the casino, if you want to drink, 
Oh, yeah, that's what my dad was saying, which he didn't tell me uh, until after the trip. And he also <laughs> didn't tell me about these meal vouchers that make it a lot less to eat at the casinos and the buffets until after I'd come back. So if you just you go and like if you that you can well. find a lot of cheap places there, you just gotta look for them. You know what I mean? Um, like there's. Well, I like top. A... I like top notch hookers. I don't like the cheap stuff. <laughs> the cheap. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> no. I'm just saying we went. We went to a, quality, not quantity. We went into this ho- uh, casino hotel that had like a like a nice burger place in there. It was really yeah. good. You know, it wasn't too expensive. They had like this special where it was like. The night owls. Well, I don't them. mind dropping major BJ's uh, in Vegas because I, I, you know me, went in Rome, so I go. Yeah. I'm and and so I'm for it. I don't care, you know. And that's why I say that's why like a short trip like that, you know, come in four o'clock, you know, you have all of all one day, and then you have to leave at like by ten in the morning. That's enough for me, you know, because then you get like one and a half of the day. You don't blow too much money, you know. There's not that much risk of STDs, which I found out is STIs now. But um, For the politically correct folk. Yeah. So you just want something that you can get rid of with like a pill or a shot, you know. So. Not that hep C stuff. No. <laughs> <laughs> not that permanent stuff. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it was, it was a blast. It was a good time. I would like to go back. Even the both of us would like, we would like to go back maybe in like a year or so and just do like the rest of the stuff because we yeah. can get to see like the wildlife exhibit in Flamingo. And we, I wanted to see, go to do the Atlantis show or whatever. Did you guys walk around and check out any of the hotels like New York, New York? No, like I said, man, that was, that was it. It was a very quick trip. Uh, it, like I said, that was my, that's what I wanted to do. Walk around and check up, but you know, maybe someone will wear the uh, right footwear next time. You know, and bring a nice skanky outfit. So, because we went in Rome. Right. I need to ask, I need to ask... Uh, He's talking about me. I need to ask J-Bones, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to ask J-Bones and uh, and what's his name? Um, the other guy we used to have on our other podcast. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> what's his name? <laughs> what was it? We, I forget what we used to call him. But, uh, what is his name? x Pac? No. <laughs> 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 Dre. Oh uh, yeah. Wasn't it just Dre? Dre yeah. yeah. So Dre. Yeah, that was Dre. So Dre and J Bones. I need to ask them because those guys go to Vegas pretty often. And so that's the other thing is is if I take over, then I can hook them up with this sweet, sweet deal, sweet, sweet. And so, uh, and but I need to ask them like, how do you guys dress? Where do you guys go? You know, what do you do and stuff? Those guys would be good to go do it with, you know, or or just find out what they do for Vegas. So. Yeah, I want to know what you do for Vegas. You know, like what kind of stuff you do when in that realm. You know, he's talking about you guys. Yes, right? the viewers. Yeah, the viewer, the, the listeners. listeners yes. Well, viewers soon enough. This yeah. one's gonna go up on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, just audio or whatever. So, and uh, and yeah, so that's that's what uh, I want to know what what people do out there. What they yeah, did. Tell us. Tell um, us on Twitter. You can. Hit us up at TNT on the show. Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, YouTube, anywhere that we are, it's all at TNT on the show. That's the website. You can tell us. You know, some people just go out there um, to go out to the to the Bunny Ranch. Hey, and that's what that's what you do. That's that's all good, man. I'm good with that. That's it's it's a profession. You know, mm-hmm. I think it should be a legal profession everywhere so that we can tax the people that that get the service and so that we can tax. The workers too, you know what I mean. Yeah. So that I mean, how much money would the government make in that case? You know what I mean. I think the government should just tax all vices, and it just but tax them a shit ton. So it's just like really hard to have those vices, you know. Yeah. But anyways, and just make them like any other vice, like alcohol. You know, you can't do it when you're when you're. And that drunk. would help with the drug trafficking too. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. would. It would kill it. It would mm-hmm. kill it. Anyways, that's for another podcast. <laughs> Make sure you, uh, you know, keep on listening to us over and over and over again until yes. your ears bleed. Yeah, and hopefully we'll do these more than once every few months, <laughs> right? Yeah. And that's, so, that's my fault. <laughs> so, he's taking responsibility. So, yeah. uh, get up been, on these nads. 